We got a bunch of stuff here. We've got Yopon. We got our beautyberry. We got ragweed. What else we got? Bunch of stuff. Oh, there's goldenrod right here. See that? Bunch of goldenrod. We're gonna harvest some of that. And guess what? It's all free. What's up? Back with Hidden Oaks Homestead. We're gonna go out into the woods today and harvest beautyberry. I got my friend here with me, but she's hiding off camera. She doesn't want to be on camera. We'll catch her later. But we're gonna go harvest some beautyberry today because it's fall here in Florida, so they are everywhere. And I want to try a couple more recipes this year. I want to try out some syrup, see how that turns out, because the jelly is pretty good. So I'm assuming the syrup is going to be really good too. So come along as we're driving into the woods, harvesting wild, and I'll show you what we're going to end up doing with it. We're probably gonna get rained out on this trip. There's a storm brewing, but we're gonna get as many berries as possible. I usually like to harvest a little bit off of each berry bush to leave plenty for deer and all the other wildlife running around out here. We got plenty of them everywhere, so there's really no end in sight of beauty berries. If you haven't checked out the side of the road, try to harvest a little bit further into the woods. You don't want to harvest anything that's growing too close to the road because, well, then you're going to have all the nasty stuff that the cars give off. So try to walk a little bit further in and um, you want to kind of stay at least 25 to 50 feet outside of um, or away from the road to harvest healthy stuff. For us, we're living in the middle of nowhere. There's literally no traffic besides us here so we can harvest straight up the side of the road here. All you want to do is they come off really easy so you can just kind of push them off off the branch and they fall right off if you get leaves in there no biggie you can pick the leaves out later don't worry about it it's pretty quick harvesting right here and you can just squeeze them off and really we don't need to stay whole with the berries they don't need to stay whole because they're about to go in the pot anyway so it doesn't matter
pull, I'm breaking them. <laughs> the pull method is not working. Yeah, it is. <laughs> no, it's not. I'm smushing the berries. Don't smush the berries. I'm trying not to. <laughs> You got you got your goldenrod right here you got your ragweed right next to it so the ragweed is what makes everybody sneeze that this is what causes allergies goldenrod actually helps allergies We went out for beautyberry, but we actually found a bunch more than that. So we also grabbed some goldenrod, we grabbed some elderberry, which got ripe kind of late, but we grabbed some of that as well that was left over from the birds. And I'm, I think I'm going to include some of those elderberries into the beautyberry syrup and maybe try out two different versions, see how it turns out and we'll do a taste test later and see if you can taste any difference. Make sure you wash your berries really well. Get all the bugs out. Pretty simple. Just rub them in between your hands and it'll clean them up nicely. I am really excited about the syrup and how it's gonna turn out. It smells really good right now. It has a lot of lemony, citrusy smells to it because I added lots of lemon juice to it. 
The reason for that is last year when I made beauty berry jelly, it turned out a little bit too sweet for my taste. So I added additional lemon juice to it and reduced the sugar that I used and it was amazing. Since I'm making syrup, obviously I don't want to reduce my sugar. I'm going to add a thickening agent to it to make it a little bit more thicker when it goes on pancakes or whatever we're gonna eat it with. And it's gonna be fantastic. Let me know what you do with your beauty berries or anything else that you forage out wildly. I would love to hear from you and I will see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.